Hi, I'm Jennifer Huynh. Hi, I'm Karina. And we chose to study autism because, well, actually, it wasn't our choice. This topic was assigned to us in our developmental biology course, but it was, I guess, a non-choice that we wouldn't trade for anything else because we found that there was so much more to autism that we didn't know about. Starting with the fact that autism is short for autism spectrum disorder, or as we'll refer to it in the presentation as ASD. And ASD is significant because it is one of the fastest growing developmental disorders in the world, but it is also one of the most elusive disorders in terms of finding a cure. Because of its neurodevelopmental nature, ASD is diagnosed based on a spectrum of wide ranging symptoms, meaning that no two individuals will express the exact same conditions due to the multitude of factors that can contribute to the disease. Um, factors seen here, for example, such as changes in one's genetics or having other risk factors or even being exposed to certain environmental uh, factors. So in our literature-based research, we decided to take this project and focus on the relevance of epigenetics and its effects on gene expression of brain cells in those with ASD. We studied how alterations in chromatin can lead to abnormalities in brain structure, resulting in the behavioral and communicative difficulties that are seen in the diagnosis of ASD. And the first study that we analyzed was with the MECP2 protein. And MECP2 is a chromatin modifying protein that is present throughout the entire body, but is, a, but is especially abundant in the brain. Um, and before I move on, I wanted to give a refresher on with a brief definition of what chromatin is. Um, chromatin is the, the complex of DNA and protein that packages into the chromosome structures that we see in our cells. And this is further elaborated in our key concepts panel. And with that said, um, MECP2 uh, protein is an essential protein for normal growth function and communication of nerve cells. Um, however, in those with autism, it was observed that there was a significant decrease in the MECP2 production because of DNA methylation on the MECP2 gene. Um, and DNA methylation is an epigenetic process where extra methyl groups are added to a gene. I mean, this is actually a very normal process in um, our cells, but in this case with our MECP2 gene, um, the extra methyl gr groups um, served as a disruption in the production of the MECP2 protein. And so this is just one of um, many other examples of how epigenetics is affecting an important um, brain cell protein. Additionally, the BAF53B protein is a subunit of the BAF complex that plays a major role in dendritic development, where neurons receive information across their neuronal junctions in the nervous system. A clinical study in mice demonstrated that if they lack the BAF53B protein, they express symptoms such as those that resemble in autism. From this study, we know that mutations that disrupt the BAF complex can lead to these symptoms, such as the lack of object recognition or delayed language development. Knowing that neuronal impairment is an important topic in autism, stem cell therapy is being introduced as a possible treatment by extracting stem cells from the umbilical cord, since this is where they are presented in their richest form. If this form is not available, then stem cells from the bone marrow could also be used. These stem cells are then transfused intravenously, meaning through a needle or through intrathecal delivery, which is more common for neural stem cell transfusion, which is injected into the spine to naturally disperse and begin its regenerative process to reverse ASD symptoms to a certain degree. And in conclusion, epigenetic changes in chromatin and DNA can alter gene expression of uh, important neural proteins such as MECP2 or the, BAF, the BAF complex that we mentioned. Um, this results in decreased amounts of neurons and brain tissues which contribute to the smaller brain structure seen in individuals with autism. Furthermore, although stem cell therapy is undergoing clinical trials, it has shown promising effects as a therapeutic treatment to generate new nerve cell connections that can compensate for the deficiency in autism neural connectivity. Thank you for watching.